Hey man, it's Dr. Gus Greenfield, and with all this other shit going on, I'm sorry, but I gotta give like a shout out to uh, Rocco Williams. His mom passed away last Thursday, and if you guys ever had a mom pass away, it's like the worst thing ever. So, you cats out there that are adopted and don't know who your mom was, you're lucky, man, so it's like, or even like your adopted mom, your adopted mom passed away, it's, it's terrible. That's a terrible thing. It's the worst thing ever in the world. No matter how much you argue and, you know, disagree and blah, 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 your mom is your mom, and when she passes away, man, it's like the worst. You know, when your dad passes away, he's like a good guy, or he was a bad guy, or he abused you, or he was the greatest in the world, you know. But when your mom passes away, that's the worst thing ever. Uh, anyway, alright, so, forget all that. Uh, some stuff in this bag right here, I'm just gonna like... I'm, I'm sort of like uh, screwing around with my my new friend Daniel Marcato on uh, Facebook or whatever it is, doing these vlogs and keep showing him like, yeah, here I'm gonna do another one. He watches, he's like, oh no, I can't see him. So um, this is like this is like the third one for the night. I'm like posting like boom, 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 boom. My good friend Kathy's probably out there watching this stuff. Talking about people passing away. Man, one of my best friends in the whole world, Ron Kathy's son, passed away too. So shout out to him. We'll dedicate this one to him. All right, man. Shoo. This is like, some of these are new. Some of these are old. I don't even know what the heck's in this bag or in this tote. It's just like, in my way. This is the 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. That's pretty, that's a relatively new one. Sorry about my fingernails. I'm working outside all day long, man. So it's like, I'm usually a clean, pretty clean person, but fingernails are all dirty. How about this? Oh, this has an orange sticker on it. So this one will be old. I have to, uh, Pulling off the sticker off. It ain't coming off now. If I have more of these, it's like, okay, we might have to, like, edit this. Log. Which we finally figured out how to do that, but it's usually more fun for everybody just to. Some people like. Like my friend Amy. I would watch it, but it's just so damn boring. And a shout out to Amy and Mike. Um, Thanks for sending me, like, some kayaking pictures and videos that you didn't send me. So, okay. 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Look at this thing. Holy smokes. Whoop. You need to see that? I know you collectors like to see all that stuff. This is from, uh, maybe 2013. Well, the only people that really bought the stuff from me was like um, all the people that have me blocked now from Rust Belt Racing, which I don't understand what the hell that was all about, but we're, we're investigating it. Hopefully some of the administrators from Rust Belt Racing, uh, I think it was an accident. It must have been an accident, but... If not, if it wasn't an accident, hopefully they can grow some freaking balls and uh, tell us why we were banned. 1969 Dodge Charger. This was like the what the General Lee was. Check that out. That's the real one. That's the real Hot Wheels one. I know I showed one on there from you guys before. It's that new for uh, new for 2015. I had that on her. I actually got, I bought a custom one. 
You can see it on one of my other vlogs. And everybody was like, dude, that's a, you know, it's a fake. It's like, oh no, I think it's like the real thing. I think it was like, it was like, it, it was a fake, but the guy that, that I bought it off of, it wasn't a fake. It was a custom. He did it and put it in that thing. So everything was good as far as, um, I wasn't scammed or anything, but it was like he, he actually painted the little car and redid it and put it back in the package. And yeah, I was like, so if he ever got, if he gotten any shit, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was just like too goon to realize, like, like, oh my gosh, you guys are, watch that back. It's like vlogs ago, but go back and watch that one or those ones because like, I do come up and it was like, I was like, Holy shit, man, you guys are right. That is like a, it is like a fake one. It's like, damn, what a, what a stupid son of uh, what I am. Uh, uh, man, you talk about Tom feeling stupid now, man, afterwards. The guy that made the cart says right on there, custom 69 Dodge Charger. <laughs> Like, I thought it was like the real thing. It's like, look at the package out here. Like, like you know, I'm like a space cadet. <laughs> like, that was funny. That wasn't funny though, because I really believed it. They were like, I, I told someone was like, oh no, this is the real thing. And there was like people like, dude, that's not real at all. It's like you don't know what you're talking about. But, I love all you people. You guys are great. It's like, now that I think about it, though, I was like, damn, I must like really look freaking stupid. But I always do. That's my thing, right? That's my gig. Check this out. 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. As a little kid, growing up on the west side of the board, there was always one of these... Dodge Super Bs in my garage over there when I was a little kid. I was probably like not even in not even five yet. There was always a Dodge Super B over there. My dad and my brother was always working on some kind of transmission on a Dodge Super B. I think they were making too big a motors, man, and then tromping on it or else my brother just couldn't figure out how to drive a freaking stick shift. Probably that too, but hey, shout out to Howard. I'm taking these plastic. These were uh, this must have been Dodge Day when I bought these. From my good friend over at uh, Dave Diecast. It's gonna take a long time peeling all these off. We might be able to make a few vlogs about it. 1970 Dodge Challenger Hemi, it says. Yep, up here. Oops, sorry. Nice, huh? That's cool. Two thousand nine maybe. That's like a weird year for collectors. 2009, I don't remember having any like that. Pulling up. Everything I'm pulling out or I gotta take these dang stickers off. Which I apologize for. Especially to you, Josh Miller. You're probably like trying to fuck a pig right now and watch these vlogs. And it's like, I know it's like hard to do both at the same time. This one's like the ultimate 70 Plymouth Barracuda. Like, even like when everybody was kids, everybody had that model. Look at that. Shoot, yeah, everybody remembers that one. Remember putting that engine together? Dang. 2009, I'm guessing. Pretty cool. This is like a whole big Dodge stash. Where are we at on this? Nine minutes and 39 seconds. Right? Pulling off another orange thing. Easier. It gets easier. This is a 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. 
Hot Wheels Flames. Uh, newer one. 50th anniversary. So. That's cool. Where's that other Super B at? I think we got a Super B over here somewhere. There you go. There's the one we showed you earlier. Nice. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. You guys all right out there? Man, I got a whole ton of stuff in here. Um, so we're like, I know like people get excited when we get over uh, 17 minutes. So we're just going to like call this one uh, and we'll, we'll finish up. Like that was a bunch of dodges. I think there was something else in the beginning of there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing them little cars. And uh, I want to give a big shout out to Josh Miller and his and that pig that he's fucking. I'm Dr. Gus Greenfield. Oh, hey, Daniel and Stephen Page. Shout out to you guys, too. I know you guys don't fuck pigs. <laughs> All right, man. I'm downloading this, like, as we speak. Peace out. Keep the light on so we don't have to. I'm Dr. Gus Greenfield. I definitely approve this message. If I can talk right. <laughs>